I'm Travis Burnett, Practice Farm Research Agronomist with Bex Hybrids. Thanks for joining us for another PFR report. With me today is Jeremy Miners. Jeremy's with Agrim LLC. And uh, we're going to introduce kind of an exciting project we have going on here. Um, you know, typically when people think about PFR, they think of practical farm research, right? So we're doing practical testing on at our sites, you know, to provide farmers with uh, a starting point to test products or practices on their farm. Well, something else that we do within PFR is uh, our high yield challenges, formerly known as a, a 300 bushel challenge in the corn. And uh, behind us here today is where we used to do our 300 bushel challenge. And, uh, you know, we've struggled with managing the water down here uh, in this area. This is bottom ground up, up against the creek. And uh, we've struggled with getting rid of that water early in the spring around planting time and then finding ways to um, you know, retain some of that moisture in season. And we feel like that's been one of our biggest limiting factors with uh, uh, these, you know, raising high yields down here. And uh, just to give you an idea of what we're doing down here, we've actually, we're creating a, what we're calling a high yield center. So we can do high yield, high management type testing, uh, trying to think outside of the box, trying to look forward in the future of, you know, what's it going to take to raise these really high yields, 400 bushel corn, for an example. And uh, Jeremy helped us develop uh, a plan to manage this water. So Jeremy, can you kind of go into the, you know, what we've done to get rid of that water early and then maybe things that we can do in season to retain some of that moisture? Certainly. This uh, field right behind us is uh, approximately 10 acres. And the field has been designed to be able to have 15 different control areas. Now, as you had mentioned previously, it has had some water issues. Mm -hmm. So first of all, that means that we can identify that drainage is a needed requirement for it. Uh, each plot has approximately four uh, drainage lines in it, spaced about 15 feet apart at about 24 to 30 inches. That way we can uh, be able to drain the water that is in that root zone while not getting so far down that we'd be interfering with the water table that's being really relegated by the creek here. Mm -hmm. But beyond just drainage, this field also has the ability to have uh, these tile systems turned off through what we call control drainage. Each one of these plots is going to have a control gate. That way, uh, during your uh, tests, you'll be able to have some of them turned on and some of them turned off. Mm -hmm. Some of them will be able to retain natural precipitation and then, of course, you'll be able overall to control that water table throughout that growing season. So that's very neat. Come, come pollination time, you know, July, we're, we have 90 degree weather. Who knows when it's going to rain next? We'll actually be able to retain a lot of that natural moisture within the soil to help uh, alleviate some of those stresses that we've dealt with in the past and been yield limiting. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. When Mother Nature gives you that uh, extra big rain, <laughs> you'll be able to keep some of that soil in or the water in the soil mm -hmm. as, a as opposed to letting it all go down your tile to the stream. Mm -hmm. An extra advantage though is that when it comes to the fall season, you can also close those gates. Mm -hmm. And if you would do any type of fall applications or uh, spring applications and then get a, a rainfall, uh, you'll be able to keep some of those nitrates on the field as okay. opposed to letting them leach down to your tile and then out the stream. And that's particularly point important with our location here being being close to the creek. Exactly so, right. Yep. Exactly right. Okay. So again, yeah, this is this is phase one of this project. So you know we're looking at doing some other things down here um, in years to come. But you know first thing we got to do is take care of getting rid of water early and ways to help retain moisture later in the season. So. That's the update. Uh, look forward to see uh, you know, phase two coming next year in 2017.